Hello everyone, good morning or good afternoon or good evening. It is morning here in uh, southeastern Pennsylvania on Friday, February 16th, 2024. Wow. So this is the third Friday of the month and at 10 a.m. a group of us hosted by Poet Spice um, do a collaboration called Crack the Vault and the idea is to use items from our stash that are six months or older and or have never been used. So I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I have a whole list of things that I could use, but I was a little short on time this week. And so I pulled out some of my house mouse stamps <laughs> for spring to spring, Easter, Easter, and spring or Easter for this one because of the bunny. And the only one that I might have used is this one because I wrote April 2021 House Mouse and Friends although that might be when I bought it um, because it didn't look used to me at all and these other ones I didn't have any notes on because I used to do a House Mouse collab and I'd stick notes on them when I you know I scheduled them to use them in certain months and I'd stick notes on them and these didn't have any notes on them so that one might have been used but even if it was it was April 2021 it's a 2018 design but some of them I know I got after that this one I wrote PNW crafts I don't even know what PNW crafts is so I'm not sure where I got that. <laughs> Some place called PNW Crafts. I don't know. Anyway, these are what I use. So let me remove them. And um, I did them this one first, then this one, then the juggling Easter eggs, the jelly bean Easter egg, and uh, the bunny one. So let's just bring them in. And I didn't make cards out of them yet, I only did the coloring. Um, I stamped them all in Memento Tuxedo Black ink because that's what I have and I'm used to for, well, I have lots of black inks, but I haven't experimented fully with them all yet. Anyway, but I did use all to new markers, alcohol markers, and I did write down somewhere the colors for the two. I wrote the colors, so I'll put them in the description box below. Um, I wrote the colors I used for these two, and then I wrote the colors that I used um, for the uh, these, all of these on the back of here. Um, so some of them will not have all the colors on, but I'll just put, you know, the three Easter cards or whatever. So um, the only thing I did use was Stampin' Ups, uh, other than alternate, was Stampin' Ups Petal Pink because I like to use that for the feet and um, faces and tail of the mouse, the mice, the mousies. <laughs> so let's see, this one is called Kling Lilac Aroma, um, where uh, Monica, I don't know if I have them colored properly, probably not. Monica is sniffing the lilac. I miss having lilacs, I really do. My mom used to grow them. Uh, this is also Monica, but Monica changed her fur color because <laughs> I accidentally used a, um, a brown on here that I had out for the stems a little bit on this. I used a dark green and, and then I touched it up with some brown and I picked that up instead of the gray browns I used on her over here. And you know, House Mouse, they have a thing like a chart that tells you what they're supposed to be colored. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so this one is, I'm not sure who, uh, see, I can't, oh, this was from Blitzy, I don't think they exist anymore, do they? Blitzy.com, anyway, yes, I had gotten that one, and that's this, cute, huh, and then this one is, oh, that one was called, um, Kling Oh, they're all clean. Easter egg juggle. And this one is, oops, that's not the right one. I already did that one. Put them in the wrong pile. This one is called Jelly Bean BR. What's BR? Broken egg or something? I don't know. Jelly Bean Break, maybe? He's taking a jelly bean break in the broken egg. 
cute. And I did that one for that. And then the bunny is called Clover Bouquet. So that's more spring, but it could be Easter too because it's got a bunny on it, right? Yeah. And I looked up bunny paws and actually most of the brown bunnies I saw, their paws were also the same color as their fur. So I did that, but then I went over it with white chalk marker and just lightened it up a little bit and I did the tail in white chalk marker. I'm not really a big fan of these white chalk markers, but it comes in handy just for tails and stuff. The other thing you could do if you have flocking is just put some adhesive down and put flocking on for the tail. But uh, yeah, when I was young, I actually cried. My mom <laughs> had a, a broom at the bottom of our, we had a split level, so the bedrooms are up a level come down like eight steps or something and there was the main level and then there was steps going down to a, a bottom level. Anyway, uh, at the bottom of the bedroom steps level, outside the, like in right in the living room at the bottom of steps, um, she had a broom and a white fluffy rabbit tail. And she said she caught the rabbit and I'm like, you hurt the Easter Bunny! How could you do that? Yeah, I mean, I later learned, you know, about <clears throat> the lack of Easter Bunnies. <laughs> but I was so upset with her. Why would she do that? <laughs> that was traumatic for me. Yeah, Mom did stuff like that sometimes. Ugh. Anyway, so I didn't put these on cards yet. Some of them... I, I might die cut around them, uh, particularly this one, these smaller ones, these two larger ones, I'm, I might also, but it'll be probably a rectangular die of some kind with some fancy edging or something. I don't know yet. These other ones might be like ovals or, uh, yeah, maybe ovals or something. I don't know yet. I'll have to figure it out, but I didn't have time to pull out papers. I think I want to use, I have two options for paper for this, these two. The new Stampin' Up um, Painted Lavender, is it called? Painted Lavender Paper. And then also, I'm pretty sure I have some lilac paper. Maybe it's hydrangea paper, but it would work because it's got purples and blues. I can't remember. I know I have a K and Company, and I'm pretty sure I have an older Stampin' Up paper to maybe if it's not all gone. So I think that's what I'll pick for these and maybe this one too. I thought it was cute how the bunny's eating the uh, thistle. <laughs> now I think there's pink thistle too but I didn't want to use pink because I had pink in the ears and uh, the nose here so I wanted a purple thistle which it tends to be purple. It's actually a lighter purple in this area usually but that's okay. I was using the purple I already had out for the Easter eggs. And um, so where was I going? These, um, I don't know. I have to see if I have some cutesy, colorful paper. I know I do. I'm just picking out one that I'll like with it. But these will be pretty colorful paper. Or maybe like a gingham for Easter or something. I'm not sure yet. So anyway, that's what I made. Please be sure to check out Jamie over at Poet Spice and all the other participants who will be linked down below. Hop along and watch their makes. Uh, we have some, well, Jamie has some really, Jamie who is Poet Spice has some really creative, talented people in this uh, group. And um, I'm honored that she allowed me to continue in this collab for this year as well. So anyway, thank you so much and take care. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Hugs, love, and peace. And gals, of course. <laughs> Hugs, love, and peace.